Hello everyone, Gordon here and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna see how to install and run Windows 11 on iPad and iPhone as well. In order to do this we'll need a little applica application called Altstore. Altstore is, uh, like the name says, an alternative store that uh, obviously is, it is not downloadable from the app, app Store but we'll need to sideload it from uh, a computer. It's actually very easy and uh, in a few minu minutes you'll be able to install emulators and uh, most importantly for this video an app called UTM which is an app that allows us to create virtual machines on iPhones and iPads. With this application obviously we are gonna run Windows 11. There is a disclaimer though. Windows 11 unfortunately runs uh, very poorly on uh, at least on my iPad Pro 20, 2018. If you have a, a faster iPad Pro, uh, a faster iPad in general, a faster device in general, it will probably run better. But uh, obviously, obviously I cannot guarantee this because uh, I don't have a newer iPad Pro, especially the M1 iPad Pro, I imagine that it will run uh, a lot better. But still, I don't know if it would be usable. Now, without further ado, let's see how to install Altstore. So, here we are on our computer and we're going to go to this site uh, https uh, altstore.io and here you can download Altserver. It will download this file, this is a zip file that Windows should be able to open uh, by itself without installing any other uh, third party program. You will need for this Windows 10 or later because it does not work properly on Windows 7 or 8.1. I have tried on Windows 7 and I actually haven't gotten it to work. So uh, let's open this file. First uh, you have uh, to extract it. And then you'll have to run setup. Uh, here I already have these files on the desktop. Setup will uh, install uh, alt server which is uh, here it says repair or remove alt server because obviously Obviously, I have it already installed. Uh, here it will ask you, it will uh, let you install this program that uh, will be needed to inject Altstore on uh, your device, on your iOS device, whether that be an iPhone or an iPad. You will actually need uh, the iTunes app and uh, the, uh, the iCloud app for Windows, but, but you'll have to download them from the, the Apple website, even though here it will say it will say get it from Microsoft, you actually don't have to get it there, it, this app requires the version uh, downloaded directly from Apple's website. I will leave the links to both in uh, the description, but actually you do not need them, because uh, Alstor will actually download it for you. So once you've done that, just log in into, into your Apple account, Alt Server will guide you through all the, of the procedures. Once you've got an Alt Store, uh, you will go here. Once you've gotten everything set up, you will connect uh, your iPad or iPhone uh, with uh, a cable to your computer and you will uh, run uh, Alt Server and uh, click here install Alt Store and uh, here uh, your device will pop up and will uh, install Alt Store. Actually, since uh, some apps need to be connected to your computer over Wi-Fi, you will need to enable sync with iTunes via Wi-Fi to the iTunes uh, app. Here uh, I'll show you real quick. So once uh, you've got uh, connected uh, your device to iTunes, you'll go here into your device and uh, enable sync with iPad via Wi-Fi. And you'll need to turn this on because also leverages this functionality. Once this is all set up, we will go to the next section of the video. If you have any questions about this process, because I'm not really confident that uh, I did a good job explaining it, uh, feel free to ask uh, in the comments. So, here we are on my app, iPad. This is the Altstore app. And uh, you will uh, go here into Browse. Here, uh, uh, at first, there won't be anything. You will need to go here into Sources and uh, add all these uh, sources by trusting them. Once you've done that, uh, you will see this application, UTM. Here you will click install and it will install. 
While doing this, you will need to be uh, connected to your computer, either uh, wired or via Wi-Fi, because then again, this app leverages the connection to the computer. I don't know exactly uh, why it needs to do this. Unfortunately, it needs uh, to be connected via Wi-Fi uh, to the computer while running virtual machines. So you need to be in your home. This is very unfortunate, but uh, basically, if you are uh, anywhere else, you can't use this. There is a version which doesn't need this UTMSC, but it's super slow because it's actually really slow and it's basically unusable even for Windows XP. So uh, this is basically the only option. So you install this and uh, once you've got it installed, you open it. Uh, here I, have, I already have some virtual machines. Obviously you need a Windows 11 ISO. Uh, I don't think I can provide you with an ISO for legal reasons. I don't know if I could get in trouble, so I won't do that, but you can get it either from officially from Microsoft, but actually, I don't know if that would work because it's probably too heavy for the iPad. So I downloaded this Windows 11 Lite ISO, which is a lighter version of Windows 11 with less stuff, which is also a lighter installation, so it will take up less space in your device. Unfortunately, I don't know how safe these ISOs are because we don't know who made them. We do not know if they have malicious intentions, so they could not be 100% safe for the daily use. But then again, here on the iPad, you're not gonna daily drive Windows 11 because first thing first, it runs like crap. We'll go into UTM and, and uh, click on create new virtual machine and uh, we'll do obviously emulate because unfortunately uh, on iOS devices you can you cannot virtualize so emulate do Windows uh, here uh, let's check UFI boot boot ISO image let's select Windows 11 Lite uh, before we start actually uh, to install drivers of the virtual machine you will need this ISO downloadable from uh, the UTM website which is Spice Guest Tools which installs the drivers I leave the link to the UTM website where you can download this and uh, yeah, it will need, uh, it will install the drivers. The architecture obviously x uh, 64 because this is a x86, more specifically 64 bit build of Windows. I have tried running the ARM uh, build of Windows, but I couldn't get it to boot. So this is our best bet. We'll give it, uh, in the case of my device, the maximum I can give it it's, uh, one, is one gigabyte because if I give it more, iOS will kill it and uh, the app will crash. So this depends on your device. If, for instance, you have an M1 iPad Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM, you can give it way more RAM. You can give it a maximum, uh, I think, uh, one third of the RAM. I don't know if that's uh, like that, but it, I think it is like that. CPU cores, let's give it uh, 8 cores, which is the maximum in the case of my device. Drive here, let's make it... Uh, normally Windows 11 needs at least, uh, I, need, I think, at least 20 gigabytes to properly install. This version needs uh, way less. We could go with 10 gigabytes, but just to be safe, I'll do 20. Share directory here, if you want, you can share files from uh, your iPad, so you have it also in the Windows 11 virtual machine. And here uh, you can give it a name, let's give it uh, Windows 11 Lite, System QEMU, uh, use virtualization, 1 gigabyte, 8 cores, uh, boot Windows, uh, ok, let's save. Actually we we'll need to tweak a few settings here, uh, information, uh, this is, here you can change the icon, but uh, actually we can change it to the Windows 11 icon, so that's uh, just neat. Uh, here. Uh, Actually, let's force multi-core. I don't know if that will actually make a difference, but let's try forcing multi-core. Twimu, uh, here uh, should be, uh, everything should be fine. In drives, I think that last time I made uh, this uh, uh, NVMe and this uh, USB, but I don't know if that might not work. We'll uh, check later if it actually starts. Here display, let's do linear because it looks better and uh, let's um, enable retina mode. I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, I don't know why. Here I think all of these are fine. These G uh, emulated GPUs are fine. I'll do uh, a Spice a QXL GPU. Uh, input uh, here it's all fine. 
network uh, enable obviously sound is already enabled and it should be fine and it should boot into the installation if if everything's all right uh, we'll meet uh, back when windows 11 actually starts on your computer you will need to uh, have your device connected and uh, click on enable JIT and uh, click it for UTM so that you will be able to launch uh, with the machines. The time it will take to install it's dependent on the uh, device. And uh, if you have an M1 iPad Pro, for instance, it will probably take less. It should take less because it is more powerful. But at least on my device, it will take a long time. And then when you actually get into the operating system, yes, you will be running Windows 11 on iPad, but unfortunately it will not be usable. It will be super slow and absolutely unusable. You need a uh, uh, whole afternoon for this. And here we are on the lock screen, uh, although mind you, it will take still a lot of time between like entering the password and getting to the desktop, like you'll see it's like really slow. Here we go, we are getting to the desktop, uh, but it's still gonna take some time. We are fully loaded into the desktop, and now we just need the, the drivers. So click uh, here on the CD icon, eject uh, the Windows 11 ISO, and uh, select the Spice Guest Tools uh, ISO. So uh, I guess now the iPad Pro is officially a computer. Obviously, if a message like this pops up, obviously, obviously you click install. Well, it finally finished. And now we do have drivers. Uh, let's just... Uh, confirm that this is in fact Windows 11. Here we go. And here it is, it is uh, in fact Windows 11 vers version 21H2, this is a build based on that uh, touch, uh, does technically work, but it's super slow, as all of the OS. Uh, so we're done, this is Windows 11 running on iPad Pro. So what's the takeaway from this video? The takeaway is if you want to use Windows on iPad, just use Windows 7. Trust me, it, it's way faster. You know, just use that. It may not be the, the, the newest version of Windows, but I guess it will do the job. Not all of the time, but hey, it, it is what it is. Why did I make this video? 
I made uh, this video because uh, I just wanted to see Windows 11 run on iPad Pro and uh, you know just for the heck of it and uh, also because uh, no one had ever made a video like this on YouTube at least I couldn't find it so uh, the video is over uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next video goodbye